everybody. So went for my appointment this morning and uh, had my ultrasound and my baseline ultrasound was great. Had my blood work done as well and everything was fine that way. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through this massive bag full of stuff that I have. So um, the medications that I'm going to be taking for this round are Menopure and Revell. So I have a bunch of those. You can see that I've got a 10 day supply of each one of those medications. Um, and then I've got my kit basically that they kind of give you. Um, it has a sharps bag and you know the syringes and they gave me um, Q-caps which I don't really usually use the Q-caps. Um, for those that aren't familiar with the Q-cap I will open it up. They are all sealed of course so that they're sterile but these are the Q-caps. So you twist them on to the needle and then they fit right over top of the Revell and Menipure, which, just a second, I can show what the Revell looks like. One sec. I'm sure you've all seen it before if you're doing this, you've seen the medications. Um, but this is the vial, and you can see that there is like a powder in the vial. You mix it with liquid. So I'm going to be mixing four bottles in total. So two Breval, two Menopure. So my dose is 150 units of Breval and 150 units of Menopure. Um, I did not do a cycle where I had to suppress beforehand. Um, but they're going to either give me Cetratide um, or starts with an O. It's like another drug that's exactly like this um, to prevent me from ovulating while we're doing the cycle, which is wonderful. And then um, in the past I've done a couple different types of meds in terms of um, progesterone, but um, I'll likely be using the progesterone in oil. As you can see, it's like a thick substance. So um, I have a whole bunch left. As you can see, there is like a slew of them in there. So it's like $800 worth of medication right there. So I'm not going to waste it. So that's basically what's going on that way. Um, so for my cycle, I, like I've said, have to travel back and forth to London um, for my appointments it's in Ontario and um, see my doctor there. So I went this morning, had that baseline. I go back again Wednesday, so I will have done Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So four days of stim medication um, and see where I'm at at that point. So um, I'm anxious, I'm nervous. We're going to a friend's for dinner tonight, so my first round of injections will be in her bathroom. <laughs> Um, but she's been through fertility treatments as well, so it's, you know, it's kind of not, uh, foreign to her. She, she's not really going to be too worried about it, but we're excited. We're nervous. We're, um, very hopeful. So the plan is, is the 10 days of stims, um, and then take the trigger and, uh, then in and around April 2nd, having our retrieval. Um, and then depending upon the quality and the, um, of the embryos, we'll either have a day three or a day five transfer, which we won't know until later, obviously until that point. Um, and I also, um, will be taking time off this time, whereas before I've kind of like worked in between and. It's just been a little bit too chaotic for me. So this time, this particular doctor strongly suggests seven to 10 days off from retrieval. So I'm going to take the 10 days off from retrieval, 
which will put me to, um, you know, April the 11th, I think it is. So I'll take that and then I'll have the weekend and then I'll go back to work the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So four days and then I'll have a four day weekend for our Easter weekend here. So um, that'll kind of work out nice because it'll give me a little bit of a break, a little bit of a chance of relaxing and whatnot as well. So that's basically where things stand for now. Um, like I've said in the clips before this, I'm not sure if I'm going to post this before. I really, I'm going to make a decision on it today, I think, because um, I think I just need to kind of run with it. Um, a lot of people in our lives know that we're going through it anyway. Um, nobody knows about my YouTube channel in my personal life. Um, I've kind of kept that private um, just because I enjoy being able to put the videos up and review them myself and my husband, but not necessarily have everybody in my personal life know exactly what's going on. Because then if some of them piss me off, I can vent, to be quite frank. Um, and if they find it, they find it. That's fine with me as well. But um, So today is a bit of a busy day. Like I have already spent four hours in the car driving there and back for my appointment. And um, now today I'm just going to kind of chill for a little bit once my son gets home. Then I'm going to take him to a play date uh, for a couple hours. And yeah, so I'm going to chill a bit today and kind of enjoy one of the few relaxing days I'm going to have for a while because the next couple weeks will be chaotic and then the next nine months after that will be, um, you know, pregnant. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I'll get through it. I, I, I'm very confident that this is going to work and I'm very happy. Now, one thing actually I should mention is just so that I kind of have this as a record for myself, but um, I've never really been warned of this before by a doctor. This particular doctor's office has said that if we stim at the meds that I'm taking, because we've actually increased them from what he had originally suggested, um, if I overstimulate but they get lots of good quality eggs, there's a good chance that they're going to make me freeze that all the embryos and do a frozen transfer later and not do a fresh because he does not want me to get OHSS, hyper ovarian stimulation syndrome. So um, I am hopeful that that won't happen on this dose because I've been on a similar dose before when I had success for our first son. So. It's all kind of up in the air since I've lost 50 pounds. I'm lighter than I was when I did in vitro for my son. So, I mean, there's so many different things that come into play. Um, I'm older, obviously. I'm I'm seven years older than I was then. So we'll see what happens. But um, I'm going to keep a positive frame of mind. Um, and I'm looking forward to the, the end result being very positive. So, all right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.